we're Steph and Travis, Canadians who didn't know much about sailing. We didn't let that or a global pandemic stop us from living our dream, and we've been winging it ever since. We took off from Toronto and made it to Grenada in year one, and we've got no plans on stopping. Subscribe to join our life on the water. Thanks to our patrons who keep the dream going. headed somewhere pretty cool today. I've been wanting to see it since we were in Grenada because it was fairly close to some of the Grenadian grenadines and we weren't allowed to go because technically it is part of St. Vincent but now that we're here we have to go see it. We are currently underway but I'm down below because I had started making granola bars and then Travis was like let's go. So I'm just making sure they don't burn and then I'm gonna go up to enjoy it. First, we thought that it wasn't going to be a good day to go because we were kind of directly into the wind and there was a current, but we're sailing now and uh, yeah, we're quite healed. The oven is on a slant. It's going to be a little choppy, but it's fine. Got a man the helm when he's being silly. Ain't that right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I told him I won't get him if he falls off sitting off of there. Oh, right? right there. Love you too. Even sitting back 10 feet, the boat does more like so if you're in a boat and the waves are doing this, like you're gonna get more motion on the back of the boat at like an aft cockpit as opposed to doing this. And the center cockpit boat's doing this, so your your motion is a lot less. So it's kind of neat. The functionality of a center cockpit, I'm, I'm actually really glad that we got one. Against all what I said. I see it. So we're gonna loop around back, and then we're gonna try to anchor off of it. are in front of our destination. We are trying to anchor here and I don't know that people actually anchor here because there are two anchorages close by. There's, um, what's it called? Petite St. Vincent, which is part of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And then next door is Petite Martinique, which is a Grenadian island. But we're just stopping here quickly to check it out. So hopefully we can just anchor here for a little bit and then be on our way. We're not staying here overnight or anything. We are in about 20 feet of water and we thought that it was sand on the bottom, but it might be rocks underneath. So Travis is just diving on it to take a look and hopefully we've hooked onto something good enough that we can just stay here for a little bit and then check it out and be back here and on our way because this is a pretty cool spot. So yeah. It's dead coral down under there, so we're not really dug in anything. We're just hooked around 
like gently hooked or like securely hooked? Well, it's not blowing that hard. So it's like all the changes, you can lift it all up. The weight of the change is just holding us down, but it's all like, well, we don't know like stuff. So I don't want to, we spin and stuff. We don't know what it's going to do. So why don't, well, what do you want to do? Stay here and boogie it over there quick, or be safe and go over to Petit St. Vincent and anchor there, and then dinghy over. Depends how long we want to stay. <laughs> we'll to too, I don't there. think it'll be too long, but I just don't want the boat floating off on us when we're over there. <laughs> and be like, nervous about it while we're over there, you know? Mm -hmm. How long is that dinghy ride? Uh, I'm not far. Okay, well why don't we just go over there then and be safe? Right? Yeah, it's just around that corner. Okay. Well, I guess let's just go there then to be safe. All right. We'll do that. able to beach the dinghy to throw it an anchor. So pretty the water! So clear! So light, I love it. The boat is back there. That's how deep it is, so we're gonna walk over. Yes, so find the wigglies on your feet. Here, give me I'm scared of whatever it is you stepped on. Just wiggle between my foot. I just don't want there to be any sea urchins. Well, you can see the sea urchins. I don't want to step on any of the other stuff. Yeah. This is so cool. It's our own private island, man. I thought that was a dinghy from afar, but it's so long. There might be urchins on those rocks, though. Mopian Island belongs to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and measures only 20 by 8 meters in size, surrounded by shallow coral reefs. As you can see, all that's here is an umbrella made of coconut leaves. I don't want to jinx it, but I really don't like walking in the ocean in bare feet. It's too what? many things that uh, live below the sea. I'm not talking to you. Oh, sorry. She always does that. She sees me filming. I don't hear you. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah. Are you the same?
Are you the same? Of what? You don't like walking in the ocean with bare feet? Yeah, because you never know what's going to be there. Like, I thought yeah. you were warning me about prickles. That's why I was like, why? Why? No, I stepped in something and it wiggled between my toes and I didn't like it. You're supposed to drag your feet just in case there's something there. It'll feel you coming in a move. Like a stingray or something? Yeah. Trying not to get her towel wet. Where? Shut the f up! There! It's not even freaking funny! He thinks it's so hilarious! Fun, but you were stressed out a little bit. I was a stressed out. All right, big boat isn't anchored at all, <laughs> like at all. It's the weight of the chain is just holding. It. Well, I, we could have anchored further away just so you could, like, you know, have peace of mind and then be safer and enjoy it. Maybe we'll check it out again if we anchor over there for the night. Maybe in the morning we'll boogie on over. We'll you want to anchor over there? Uh, yeah, we'll go anchor over there. It was really fun and it looks like there's potentially some really good snorkeling over there so I think we are going to move over to Petite St. Vincent and anchor there for the night um, and then come back out here tomorrow to check out the snorkeling. We literally never decide where we're going to go until last minute but the great thing about the Grenadines is that everything's so close together. You can kind of hop between islands no problem and hop between anchorages. It's pretty nice. St. Vincent, here we come. We've actually anchored in this very spot before when we were checked into Grenada. On our port side is Petite St. Vincent, which belongs to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and on the starboard side, Petite Martinique, which belongs to Grenada. Trying to find this little hike to the top of the hill in the bay, in Salt Whistle Bay. I thought it would have been more traveled, but it doesn't seem that way. Considering there's so many boats here, it seems like a really big tourist spot. Definitely a less traveled Ow. route. But we're making our way. It's all dead, so it's just like snapping when I touch it. So that trail was a bust. It was a dead end. It seemed like it was a trail. I guess everyone that started up this way make it a trail and then they get to that point and they go, mm, nope, not this way. So we go back down and then try the other side. Turn right. Found the trail, I think. Yeah, I know, it kind of has a funky smell. What is that? Ew! It smells like something dead. Ew! Forward! Oh man, it stinks! Hmm. 
Yeah. I think this is kind of the first place we found where people are just hanging out and doing the beach. Yeah. Charter it's, Cat Central. Yeah. There's the old man in the head behind Steffi. Yeah, where's the old man in the head? <laughs> <laughs> That's Fred. You have to do That's where's Fred. Waldo on your feet. Where's Waldo? <laughs> <laughs> Spot the old man in the hat if you get a prize. <laughs> <laughs> where's Waldo? Those where's Waldo's? You guys both have the stripes right now. Yeah. The striped little floaties. She's coming up for a photo. The question is, how am I going to turn around? Hmm. I have a feeling you think you're going to rely on me on this one. To turn around? No, I'm already losing my balance here. Let's straddle it though. How am I gonna turn around and come up the wrong way? I'm trying to balance your Don't balance like that. Well now how am I gonna turn around there? Hold my hand. Hold my hand. I can't. <laughs> okay, just take it this way. What? I came up the wrong way. We love being able to make such short hops from island to island. From the most remote of remote to busier anchorages that you can tell are geared much more towards charter boats, with boat boys coming up to you at anchor to sell souvenirs and souvenirs sold on bar-lined beaches. Salt Whistle Bay has been a great place to enjoy the day with the company of our friends and to meet some new faces. Thanks for joining us on our adventure this week, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us next week as we head to the most beautiful place in the Grenadines and even arguably in all of the Caribbean. See you next Friday.